Hello friends, I hope you are doing well. In this video, we will learn how to make connection between Python and SQL Server and we will export the data automatically in Excel using Python script or pet file. And guys, the data will export automatically on particular time and we will display notification about status. Okay. And guys, for this video, I will use Visual Studio. Okay. So let me go to the Visual Studio. So guys, first of all, we need to import the library PyODBC by which we can establish the connection between SQL Server and Python, right? So simple, I am writing here import PyODBC, right? And I am going to import another library which is Pandas, SPD and OS module I also want. And for the date time status, I am going to import the date time module. So from date time, import date time, right? And guys, now I'm going to create a SQL connection, okay? So I'm writing here, create SQL connection. And guys, to create a connection between SQL Server and Python is very easy as compared of other programming language, okay? So when you are going to create a connection, couple of things you need to remember. What is the driver name? What is the host? What is the database? That's it, okay? So here I am taking a variable which is connection equal to pi odbc, right? And connect, okay? So guys, first of all, we need to check what are the available drivers I have, okay? So how we can check? So let me make this comment. So print py odbc, which is drivers, okay? Now let me run this. So guys, you can see here, these are the drivers, okay? So from this, I am taking ODBC driver. So let me close this. And guys, you need to provide the first parameter, which is driver, okay? So simple driver equal to, so in single code, you need to provide the curly braces and within the curly braces, you need to supply the driver, right? Fine. And guys, another parameter, which is host, okay? So you need to provide the host. So how you can check the host? So simple, go to the SQL server and here you need to provide the command which is select, add the rate, add the rate and server name, right? And now let me run this. And this is my the server name, okay? So simple copy and you can paste here, right? And another parameter which is database. And you can provide the database which is test database, okay? So simple test and here, trusted connection, which is yes. And guys, now I want to read the data from SQL Server, okay? So we have to supply the query. So let's say select, which is star from DBO, which is sales order, right? So guys, this is my the data, right? And let's say from here, what I'm doing from the reason I'm selecting the specific reason. Okay, so how can I do that? So simple where, which is reason equal to south. Now let me run this. And guys, now you can see here, this is my the data only for the south reason. Okay, now you can copy this particular entire query. Okay, and here I'm going to write the comment, which is SQL command to read the data. And now I am taking a variable which is SQL query. And here, this is my the query. Fine. So guys, using this query, we will get the data from SQL and store into pandas data frame. Okay. So here I am writing a comment. Getting the data from SQL into pandas data frame. Fine. So here I'm taking a variable, which is DF. DF is another thing, is my data frame. And PD dot read SQL. And first of all, you need to provide here SQL. You can see here SQL, right? So SQL equal to your SQL query. So simple SQL query, fine. And after that, you need to provide the connection, okay? So second parameter, which is connection, right? So connection equal to connection, fine. And after that, we need to export the data on a specific folder, okay? So simple, export the data on the desktop. 
So guys, I have already created a folder which is Python script and we will export the data in Python script folder, okay? So here df which is two CSV and here I'm using os.environ which is user profile, right? And, and on the desktop and folder name is which is Python script, fine and plus so here you can supply the file name. So for an example, here I'm using SQL order data plus date time, which is now. And here I'm using STRF time, right? So using STRF time, we can easily extract the date and time, okay? So here I'm using that particular format, which is percent D and percent B, percent capital Y for the century years, right? And here I'm using hour, minute, and second, okay? And after that, I'm going to supply that particular extension, which is .csv. And guys, I don't want to index, okay? So simple, I can use here index equal to false, okay? And guys, after exporting the data successfully, we need to display the notification, okay? So for the notification, I need to import the another library, which is so from plier, so guys, plier is a library, right? And import notification, okay? And here I'm writing a command, display notification to user, okay? So simple notification dot notify. So here I'm using the parameter, which is title. So guys, here you can provide the any kind of title, okay? So let's say report status. Fine. And after that, you need to provide any sensible message. Let's say message. I'm using here the F string. So simple sales data has been successfully saved into Excel. Okay. And guys, in case you want to display how many of rows and columns we have in that particular data. So here you can supply total rows. So here we can use df.shape. So df dot shape will return the tuple, okay? So from the tuple, I am getting the first element, which is zero. And again, slash n, which is total columns. And here I can use df dot shape, df dot shape, which is one. And here I'm using last parameter, which is timeout. So timeout here I'm providing for the 10 second, simple. So guys, we have created that particular script. Okay, now let me run this. So guys, we have successfully run that particular script and this is my the notification, right? And in case you want to check the data as well, yes, we can check the data in that particular folder. Okay, so Python script. And guys, you can see here, this is my the particular data. Okay, now let me open this. And this is the particular data for the reason south. Okay, and now let me close this. So guys, now the another question is how we can schedule that particular script on a specific time, okay? So first of all, we need to create the bet file. So let me go to the CMD. So guys, first of all, we need to check where Python, okay? So simple where Python. And guys, you can copy any of the Python exe, okay? So simple, you can select and you can press right click. Now, let me open notepad. And simple, you can provide this one, okay? And after that, you need to provide the script address, okay? So simple, you can go to the Python script and from this file, you can take the address, okay? So simple right click and go to properties, go to the security tab and you can copy that particular address, fine. And in the double quote, you can paste here and now you can save that particular file. So let me save this file inside the Python script, okay? And here you can provide any sensible name, let's say Python script and you need to provide the extension, which is BAT. Fine, now let me save this. And guys, now I'm going to close that particular file. And guys, now you can see here, we have bed file, okay? Now let me remove this Excel file. And now let me run this. So guys, you can see here, total rows 1620 and total columns 20. Fine. So it will take a couple of seconds, yes to close the window, fine. Now let me run this once again. Simple, fine. 
And guys, now the another question is how we can map this particular bed file on task scheduler. So let me go to the task scheduler. And here on the right side, you need to click on create basic tasks. Okay. And guys, on the very first window, you need to provide the name. So for an example, I am providing the name, which is test. Okay. And here you can write your description in case you want and go to next. And here you can trigger your task. Okay. So when do you want the task to start? So for my case, I am choosing daily. So simple go to next. And here you can choose date and time. As of now, I'm leaving this start date as it is and the appropriate time. Okay. So for my case, let's say I want to run that particular script on 45 and click on next. And you can leave it as a startup program. Simple. Then go to next. And here choose your bed file. Okay. Browse. And this is my the Python script bed file. Now you can remove the leading and trailing. And simple next. Yes. And you have to click on open the properties dialog for the task when I click finish. So simple open and finish. And here you can see this is your task name and go to the trigger and this is the particular trigger details. Okay. So simple go to add it and on the advanced setting, you can choose repeat task every one hour or let's say every five minutes. Right. And yes, click. Okay. Okay. And now you can see your task has been created. Okay. So we need to wait for three to four minutes. Fine. And you can check your task here. So let me go down. So guys, this is your particular task. And this is the task name, this is status and this is trigger. Okay. And guys, in case you want to check that particular task is working or not, then simple, you can click on run. Okay. It's working right now. Okay. And this is the particular report status. Fine. So on 145, that particular task will run automatically. Okay. And guys, meanwhile, you can follow that particular playlist. It will help you a lot. In this particular playlist, we have covered Python pandas in greater details. Okay. So you can find lots of video on pandas. And this particular series is basically for the Python tutorials for beginners, right? So you can find lots of video from sequence and these video and this particular entire tutorial will help you a lot. Okay. Or in case if you are facing any problem or any doubt, simple, you can post your comment. So by that way, we can easily interact with each other. Fine. So guys, you can see here, we have successfully run that particular script using the bed file or using the task scheduler. Okay. And here you can check the particular time as well. Okay. So at 1 45 AM, we have run that particular script successfully using the task scheduler. So guys, I hope you will try this script and schedule using task scheduler. Okay. So guys, I am sure you enjoy in this session and this session will help you a lot. Do practice of this session as much as you can, or if you have any kind of doubt or suggestion on this, please post your comment below. So for now, thanks for watching and have a great day.